Well, Hectic Nainainers, what a beautiful day to honor a legacy, to honor Tata Madiba. I'm standing outside of the very iconic City Hall building. This is where Madiba made his first speech in 1990 after being released from prison. People are ululating, they're happy, they're rejoicing. And right about now, I'm standing with a former political prisoner. Please introduce yourself. And Peter Seister was at least 1991 as a prisoner. I was been sentenced to prison in 1986 for two uh, charges of uh, sabotage, and I'm also a former member of the Wow! Now you said you went to um, you were in Haldestrum prison, yes. Victor Vestad, and you also were with Madiba on Robben Island at, at Portsmouth. At Portsmouth, what was the experience of being uh, you were sharing a cell with Madiba? I didn't actually share, uh, sharing a cell with him. I was actually not allowed to be with him, together with him at Portsmouth. The time he was being transferred from Roman Island to Portsmouth, we only got uh, some chances when we passed by to get our food to speak to him. Oh wow, what kind of person was he? It was, you can't explain what kind of a person he was. See, if you are in his, uh, in, in his mud, his presence, in yeah. presence, you just... It's just, it's, just, it's just absorbing you. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's really great, wonderful. Great now today, you're actually on your way to Robben Island. Yes. They are, they are, there's a special meeting that's going to be happening for all the political prisoners. Tell us about it. Okay, um, we just get some information from them this morning that all the former former political prisoners will meet at the gateway at Waterfront the day after we go to Robben Island. Okay, and I mean, how are you feeling since you've heard about his death? Um, very, very, very sad. I'm crying inside. Yes, I'm very emotional as I say. Oh, well, guys, remember to send us all your tweets and all of your hectic colors. We want to know how you guys are feeling on 